Hello, welcome back to Abduction. I decided I would come back here. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything because I came back on this side of the thing. And uh, I was going to start recording in a different place, but then I remembered I haven't actually been here on this side with uh, on this stretch of track yet. I am not in the cart as you can see. So I'll be back when I have gotten to a place that is new. Well, here's something. So I'm thinking that maybe we want to use something in this world to smash those boards on that area around the seed that we brought here. I'm wondering if this is going to be it. We'll like, toss it over the edge and it like swings down and smashes the boards. That'd be so cool. Anyway, I had some thoughts on this world after playing it last time. It's been a couple of days and... You know, I said that I don't think that didn't think this these people had much regard for safety with all the sharp edges and stuff. I'm not quite so convinced that's true anymore. Just because remember one of those alien races was insect and that might be this world. This might be the insect people world. And so and so you know, those giant insects we've seen flying around, I haven't seen any yet today, but those might actually be intelligent creatures. And we're just walking around in their home, and they're like, hey, there's this this weird mammal that's here in our home. What's it doing? And uh, if, it, if that is so, then these all these sharp edges might not necessarily be a design. That just might be because that's how their bodies look. Like, you know, you know how our architecture is pleasing to us, and so this might just be architecture that is pleasing to them based on their uh, physiology. And so, so, like, they're giant insects, right? If they have heavy exoskeletons, then maybe if one of them, like, flies and then, like, bashes into the spike, maybe its exoskeleton will just protect it. It'll just be, like, armor, and it's like, oh, no big deal, it just flying around, bounced off of it, and and this is not dangerous. Where am I going? This is back where I came from. Is this even the place where I was? There was a way. There was somewhere that I wanted to go. There was somewhere I could get to. Was that over here? Where was that? Ah, oh, yeah, it was this way. Here we are. Now there's where all the machines are. This is clearly human. Look at that Russian script. Uh, I... Don't know Russian. I just can recognize the alphabet. What? 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 Is it turning on just because I was standing here? No? Yeah, because you look at these spiky things. They could be like warlike tribal um, signs of. You come here, we will put your head on these. Or they could just be like insect hands. <laughs> right? Russian 1, Russian 2. Oh man, the, the letters do not sound like... This is not an A, this is not an N. That's not an N. <laughs> uh, I think we have... It's like... This is a P. This is an R. Or maybe this is an R. I don't know. I have no idea. It's, it's all different. Okay. All except the fives and one of the sevens. All except the five and the three. Hmm. Five and six. Five and five. Nothing. No surprise that those are just the same. Five, and then there's this. Um. Okay. I'm having a hard time seeing the pattern. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? I just press E. Why does it think I'm pressing E right here? <laughs> it's not E. It's. What? What? Something's off. Okay, it's back on. That's not a switch. Jeez.
Okay. This one? Wow. Look at all this stuff. There's a nine over there. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Enter. E. I turned it all off. Okay. So I do see that there's like faded numbers there. So what if I do zero, two, wait, no. Zero, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's just the numbers. Uh, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, nine, seven, three, two, zero. Nine, seven, three, two, zero. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a big puzzle. I uh, do not flip the five switch and six turned off. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to be able to figure out what to do here. <laughs> I can't even figure out how to turn it all off. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Do those fives override everything in the background? Yeah, they do. So everything that was there before leaves a trace. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm ready for this puzzle yet. <laughs> hey, look, it's like a lobster. I wonder if it's intelligent. Okay, what about this thing? It's not a thing. But there will be a thing there. Oh, I wonder if there's a seed here. I don't know why I thought of that, just because there's a little knob here. <laughs> Alright, is that where I came from? No, that is where I came from. I'll walk over here. There's stairs. This looks like it goes out to a new area. I don't want to... Ooh, th does this go back to the beginning? I think this might be a shortcut to the beginning. Aw, oh, yeah. Must not have power in it or something. You ever do a thing where you think of two words at once and your mouth can't decide which of the two to use? My mouth just wanted to do something and anything at the same time, and it didn't work. Because that's not how mouths work. What does that sound? It was like something powering up. And then immediately shutting down. Spikes. Man, I would not like to walk around here much. If I were in communication with these creatures, I would politely request that they cover the spikes on the walkways with something soft. And something that the spikes would not puncture through if I slammed into it. Here we go. Something's moving. What is it? Something's opening. Something opened. Locks opened. Maybe I can use the elevator now? What is this? What is it? This looks like it... Oh my god. Maybe that's just anchoring, but it looks like it grabs this whole rock thing and turns it or something. What have we got down here? More? That's turning, but it's not doing anything because it's not connected. Wait, what? There's nothing here to connect with. Something down below, something up above, I don't know. What does this do? Ah, that's what <laughs> Alright, let us see what this does. Oh yeah, look at that. I love this kind of machine. What is this? Is it like wings or what? It's 
turning. It's a giant propeller. This is awe-inspiring and creepy and disturbing and so cool. Now what happens if I... Oh, this... I unlocked the thing. Now it's closing up. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Uh... <laughs> Man... Is it just me projecting my thoughts onto this game, or does this look like the kind of machine an insect race would build? <laughs> oh, wow. Like, doesn't this look insectoid? Man, hats off to the world builders of this game. Uh, Cyan, Cyan Worlds, you guys are the best. Look at that. Oh my god! Oh, huh. Hi. You're a lightning bug, aren't you? I saw you flickering. Well, whatever that is is turned on. Let's see if we can use the elevator now. Right, that's this way. But it looks like it might not all be working. I guess it is pressing into some that thing. But it's not grabbing it. I wonder if I need to like flip another switch over here to get that claw to grab it. So then this thing will start undulating too. Yeah, because this looks like it moves too. I'm going to bet that I can't use this yet. Yeah. I need to get that thing to grab it somehow. No con hidden controls here. Hmm. Okay, that one too. Is this turning? Oh yeah, uh, what? It looks like it's open. It looks like it can do something with it. Okay, I can. Let's see. Nope, let's change view. Can I do anything with this or is it just... Yeah, I see that they're all open. Like I don't seem to be able to close, I don't seem to be able to, to close them from here. Hmm. It's not like I just put my hand through here and be like, close! <laughs> I guess so that's in case you haven't noticed it on your own. Yeah, I see him. Don't know what to do with him. Okay, if I can get up there, then I can find a shortcut. Looks like there's an elevator that goes down there. Hi, guys. Do you realize that I'm intelligent yet? I turned on your machine. Where else do I go? Where else can I go? Looking for controls? There's chains here, too. Maybe that's just for, like, support? So I could open it again. That would stop that. Or I could... This is not moving anymore. Can't change that anymore, that makes sense. So that just got it up and going. And now maybe like some kind of magnetic power or something down there is turning these blades. And uh... So what if I turn this... Then it's gonna stop... But now... Now what if I go back up here? Oh, this is rotating. Huh. Oh, it's like a screwdriver. Or like a screw, not screwdriver. I can't use this while it's off. 
Okay. Good to know. Well, here's another thought, though. If these are insect people, then why would they even make these catwalks with stairs? Right, let's see if we can get up there quickly. Why? I don't know. Do I even want to stand here? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, now we see the thing unscrewing. We wait till it goes down, and then we can click on this and look at all the things. Even though we know what the problem is. Like, yeah, I know that the problem is there, but I can't, like... Oh, I can. <laughs> Close. There we go. I didn't realize it. Like, I know I looked at it, kind of looked like a hinge, but I didn't realize that it actually was a hinge. So, I wonder if you have to do it twice, or if I just missed that one time. Like, oh, uh, yeah, I just missed the one time, so. It will go if you time it right the first time. Yeah! Got all of them. Okay, we are seeing some action now. So there's an elevator over here that we could probably use if we can get to it. There is another elevator over here, which I know we can use. Are these two things, and that's going up there. I just want to use the elevator first, just because I know it brings us back to the beginning. Or I think it brings it back to the beginning. I don't actually have the directions memorized. It is not letting me move. I am... As I spin the camera... My feet are shuffling around in a circle. <laughs> I wonder... I should have been looking around. There might be something to see. Have we made it? Yeah, back to where these things are. Oh yeah, and it's a seed. All right, we're back here in case we need to be. Hmm. And what? This brings the, this brings it back to where it is now, right? Yeah. So, I wonder if we can get over there. I wonder if there'd be any reason to go over there. Oh hey, look, the wall. <laughs> I didn't realize it, that's the cell wall. So I wonder if each of these cells are planted on one of the worlds, one of the other worlds. So like, I wonder if this is planted on the Mafang world, because remember the Mafang were from a jungle world, unless that's the blue laser planet, if they are in fact different people. If I know the mist creators, they're gonna have, they're gonna have us come back here this roundabout way because we had to block off a different way. But even insects would have trouble with turning gears and getting caught in that stuff. That would still smash them. Huh. So maybe they're like a... Maybe individuality isn't that important to them. That is kind of a trope with insect races that they're more like... They're a lot more collectivist. And like an individual isn't that important. So if one of these guys gets smashed up by the gears, it's like, oh, whatever. Not that big a deal. There's still millions of us left. All right, now all this stuff is moving. Great, and I will see what we can do with it. Nothing at the moment, I presume. That chain over there is not moving. So we can't seem to get that, those stairs to come down, not that we'd actually want them to. This is completely off. And I don't see myself lifting this back up anytime soon. <laughs> what is that down there? A giant wishbone? Huh. Some logs? Chopsticks? I don't know what those are. Okay, we got this moving. What else can we get moving? 
Uh, keep running into this. Anything look different down here? Nope. Let me, like, look down here. There's nothing to look down to. Look how rusty this is. <laughs> And we haven't found a way to get up there yet, have we? No. Uh, there is an elevator down there. I don't remember if we saw an elevator or tried to use it. No, it's up here. Never mind. Um, so we'd have to bring that elevator down and then ride it up, or... What is this? We should be able to get over there somehow, up onto here. Do we need to ride that elevator, or can we get to it from a different way? This is pumping over here. What is all this stuff doing? I should figure that out before I leave. It's turning, it's moving, what is it moving? Can I even go up there? I should be able to get up there somehow. Okay, all that seems to be tied to this other elevator that we saw. So we need to find out where the bottom of that is. Looks like we won't be able to do anything up here without use of that elevator. This looks like it connects to what? That, maybe? No. Something up here? If we could get up to that platform, maybe we can see! Alright, time to look around and see if we can find something. Well, I thought I would ride this elevator down again just in case there was like another one up higher that came down and took its place, but... Uh, no, there's no space for that. Yeah, here we go. This is moving now. Look at that. <laughs> We're gonna be able to move this giant thing. Cool. Don't like being this close to this big moving metal. Cool. Oh. Yeah, this is not safe. This is not safe at all. <laughs> Alright, this isn't turning, though. And, uh, hmm. Seems to be something the matter. This is not connected to anything. It definitely looks like it should maybe go up, maybe around, down, in, out, something. There's no path down on the other side. So this is moving, but I don't know what it does. Don't know how it connects or anything. Need to find a way to... Need to find something to move with it. Well, we can walk out here. But there's, there's no controls in here. So that doesn't do anything for us. But if we move this thing out of the way, we'll be able to get up on the other side. Ah... So we got machinery going, but it's not all working yet. Gotta find some controls and stuff. Okay, so I notice all the all the numbers up here have reset. Let's just try putting in the numbers as they appear. Alright, that's how they were when I got here. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Oh! I wonder if this is a code. Zero is this. One is this. Two is this. Three is this. All right, and so five is the one that's left over. Uh, five would be this then. But I, you know, these are small Russian letters. These are capital Russian letters, I assume. Ah, I think I shall have to come back later and figure this out. Oh, this seems to connect to that bridge up there. So if I get this right, then it seems like maybe that bridge will come down. God, so many levers and dials. Most of them have to be red herrings, right? I don't know if these are correlated. They have to mean something because they're beside each other, right? There's two... There's a bunch of the letter E, a backward E. No, that's forward E, what am I thinking? There's multiple Ks. There's multiple of this thing. Man, I don't know. This is, this is, this looks like some kind of cipher. I'm gonna take a picture of this, just in case. I have no clue. 
It says something down there. I assume I don't have to learn Russian to beat this game. Man, if this is anything like the Myst games, I should be able to beat this whole world without leaving. But actually leaving is part of the mechanics of the game, so that's not the solution. And this is the trouble when you leave the elevator down and there's no switch to bring it back up. Okay, there's something written back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. Okay, that's not the combination. <laughs> so, we can remember this is here, just in case. Now let's walk back here and everything. Do they let us walk to this side? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Man, it feels like this is the solution. Maybe I need to learn some Russian. <laughs> Maybe I need to find a journal somewhere that has Russian written in it. Well, that might be all that I can figure out today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And subscribe for more Abduction and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.